Jiu-Jitsu solves most of life's problems. What solves most problems in Jiu-Jitsu? Posture. Most submissions, like triangles and yes, on the can be solved if my partner has perfect posture. That's why we put so much emphasis on preventing them from making posture. We break them down with our standard omoplata grips before they can make posture. We stomp down either with the triangle or with our two feet to prevent them from ever getting posture. And that takes care of a lot of problems with the omoplata because if he can make posture, he can stop me from hyper-rotating his shoulder. But things happen, right? Maybe we mess up, maybe our opponent is really big. And so I'm gonna show one of my favorite ways to break down the posture after we've failed to flatten him out and after we've maybe failed to get as much pressure on the shoulder as we want. So, if I get Eric into the only block. So when I talk about posture, right? So I have my standard grips, and usually, and let's, let's give you one more detail on prevention. So with prevention, whether I triangle my legs and press down, or whether I just stomp down, Eric's gonna have a tough time making posture. If he's a really big, strong guy, I will extend my legs and cross, so now if Eric tries to make posture, not only am I putting pressure on his leg, he's also carrying my weight at the end of the lever. The thing is, people get caught in transition. And so often, what guys are gonna do is they're gonna posture up powerfully. And you're gonna feel like you're gonna get thrown like a lawn dart. This has happened to me a lot. This is one of the situations where I think it's really important for me to triangle my legs. Because if he shucks me off, like if I don't have my legs triangled and he kind of shucks me, now his elbow comes out and I'm in real trouble. And I'm gonna scramble. So when you feel him start to posture, you should triangle your legs. So posture up hard. Another thing I want to mention is that when he postures up hard, often his hand is going to come out. Remember, we're always looking for wrist locks yeah. as targets of opportunity. And believe me, there is nothing that feels better in this life than having a 280 pound man, not Eric, but I have done this to a 280 pound man who beasts you up and you just go whoop and wrist lock him. There is no better feeling in this world. It is unbelievable. However, we don't want to count on that. So the first option that I'm gonna show is how we break down his posture. I'll show another option when he postures up like that later that I've started doing as well. I'm gonna reach with both my hands for his far side lapel. If I can get it all the way out, I'm gonna pull it. One of the things I like to do to start jujitsu matches is just swat their lapels out, especially good for lapel guard players, but I also like to use the gi to tie them up for gi or origami. So I try and get their lapel out when I can. When I get their lapel out, my mat side hand, in this case my left hand, is gonna come as close to his armpit as I can, and I'm gonna wrap my elbow behind. I'm gonna step on the mat, and break his posture down. This is really useful, especially if I can't get Space Mountain, because he's gonna be hiding his elbow from me. So I'm gonna show this one more time, and show it from a different angle. So in this case, so the posture's up hard. I try to my legs to not get thrown off. Two hands come to the lapel, I'm pulling it out. I want to get my grip as close as I can to his armpit, and I want it thumb down. My elbow comes behind, and I step. Break the posture, come up, and finish. Let's show this posture break from a different angle. So this time, Eric's going to be closest to the camera. So I'm ready to finish but I mess up and in transition I let him make posture. As he makes posture, I have to try with my legs so I don't get thrown like a lawn dart. That's happened to me too, don't let this happen to you. Two hands come over, pull the lapel up. Mat side hand is gonna come as close to the armpit as I can make it, thumb down, elbow comes behind. Make a brace, take him down, finish. So remember, we didn't wanna get here. Uh, what we wanted was to flatten him out before he even got to the turtle position. When he got to the turtle position, we wanted to use our stomp or our triangle to pin his shoulder. If he tried, if he's still able to make posture, we can extend our legs with them crossed to make it really difficult. But jujitsu is all about situations where littler people take on much bigger people. And so sometimes you're going to do everything right. Now, nobody does everything right all the time. But sometimes you're going to either mess up or you're going to do everything right and somebody's still going to be able to posture out of your own plot. Lock the triangle, get the lapel, ship away from them, break their posture, and then we can get into our finishes.